one another. Hey friends, I am so glad you're here. Our lesson today is all about loving one another. But before we get started with that, let's all stand and sing praises to God with our friends Christy and Mr. Wesley. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. question for you. What do you think of when you see a heart? Most of us would probably say that we think of love when we see a heart, right? Well, who do you love? Do you love your parents? A brother or a sister? Grandpa or grandma? Maybe a best friend or a teacher? It is easy to love these people because they love us too, right? Well, are there any boys or girls that have ever done anything mean to you? Or has anyone ever said something about you that wasn't true or made you feel sad or angry? Do you love those boys and girls? Should we be expected to love people who are mean to us, treat us badly, and say ugly things about us? Well, let's see what Jesus tells us to do. Our Bible story today comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 5 verses 43 through 48. And it says, You have heard that it was said, Love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. He causes his son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you only greet your brothers, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. So, this was when Jesus was teaching a group of people on a hillside. We call his lesson that day the Sermon on the Mount. And in his sermon, Jesus said some things that really surprised the people. He said, you have heard that you should love your neighbors and hate your enemies, but I say, love your enemies. If someone does mean and hateful things to you, pray for them. Now, is responding to our enemies, like Jesus says, easy? No! But does Jesus believe that we can treat our enemies in this way? Yes, or he wouldn't ask us to do it. When we choose to show love to our enemies, we are acting like children of God. And if we are only kind to our friends, what is so great about that? Everybody does that. It isn't always easy to love your enemies, but there are some good reasons for doing it. Number one, it shows God's love to others. Number two, it sets a good example for others to follow. And number three, it can turn enemies into friends. So how can we show love to people who aren't showing love to us? 
Sometimes this means saying or doing something nice for them. Other times, it means stopping yourself from saying something mean back to someone. And sometimes, showing love to our enemies is as simple as praying for them. Let's finish our time together today by standing and praising God one more time. Wonderful singing, friends. Let's pray. Our hands we fold, our heads we bow, so we can talk to God just now. Dear God, thank you for sending your son Jesus as the greatest gift of love. Thank you for loving us even when we mess up, and help us to show your love to those around us, even those who don't show love to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great week. Bye, friends.